All right, this is the uh, the first one I do as a video, uh, at least for a while. Um, and one thing I, I said before, and it's still applicable, is uh, I only do it in one take. And uh, I'm going to try and improve the uh, you know equipment that I use, or maybe get a better webcam. I'm currently using a laptop one. Uh, this one is better done in the video and uh, more of a screencast, in fact, uh, because I want to show a couple of things, and I know that. Um, it's going to be a lot easier if I uh, show a bunch of web pages here. Uh, so this is ZDNet. This is one of the worst websites if you are looking for news uh, about anything. Uh, if you're looking for uh, objective news about free software, you probably wouldn't get it here. If you're looking for propaganda for uh, paying clients, uh, Microsoft, IBM, you probably will find it here. So just looking at the latest news here in uh, <coughs> the Linux section or the Linux tag of uh, ZDNet, what you'll find is uh, something about the anniversary of Linux and then it's something about Microsoft pushing its kind of file system into Linux not not really important news in, 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 in objective terms to, to Linux and then you'll find all sorts of things about terminology and uh, uh, about um, you know Python language probably some kind of a Microsoft bias uh, if you go if you go over and you move over to the open source section you will find even worse things because not only does it mention Linux and and, and you know and Microsoft at the same time uh, if you go further down you will find at least two articles about this whole master-slave thing which is kind of a, a woke thing uh, for corporations because they don't really want to talk about things like bombing of people, imprisonment of people, uh, kidnapping by the IC in the US. They'd rather talk about things like you know what term should we use, should we say blacklist and slave and stuff like that. This is the um, you know featured stories uh, when you're looking into uh, open source in, in ZDNet which is owned by uh, CBS Interactive, now it's CBS, uh, I think uh, they got merged into another company after they been defunct last year. Uh, so this is a really horrible site and lots of the uh, propaganda, the fear, uh, uncertainty and, uh, and doubt, um, also known as FUD, uh, being spread against Linux and against uh, GNU and the free software and so on. That comes from there and they have a guy called uh, uh, Catalin Simpano, and uh, he's one of the worst. They they hired a guy from something called bleeping computing. I don't know if bleeping computing is supposed to sound like you know fucking computing, but it's it's called bleeping computing, and it has always been a for uh, a source of lots of bullshit uh, about um, various things, especially against Linux because it gets them clicks. And they hired the guy to work in ZDNet. And recently it's been spreading a whole bunch of nonsense and I just want to show the kind of uh, article that's been generated by, by this seeding of propaganda from ZDNet. So this is a very recent example and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be easier to do it in video. Uh, I'm looking to my side because the screen is on my side, I'm, I apologize, I, I do it in one take, I didn't script this video and I'm going to try and get a better camera that will show my uh, six screens next to me uh, that I'm looking at right now. Um, but this is it's called git paste first of all it's not news okay because that's recycled it was mentioned about a month ago and they're just recycling old news now it's not really git it's in github and github is microsoft and it's proprietary software it's not git git and github are not the same thing i probably should do a, a video about the differences between git and github uh, one is kind of an attack on the other and it's a bit of an embrace extend extinguish type of thing uh, but this is this is something that's being described now in the news again as a Linux issue, but it's really a GitHub issue. It's GitHub, and look, and even show you a worm, uh, just kind of to get some people scared. Some people don't like touching worms, and they, they think of it literally as a worm, and they probably think bugs are literally bugs, like back in the days the big computers actually had bugs inside of them, uh, real bugs inside of them. Um, but what you find this is this is only one of several articles and they usually start somewhere like ZDNet and they will talk to you about things like uh, um, how Linux is in trouble because there's this thing walk going around and if you're not careful you might install it on your machine well duh you probably shouldn't install anything on your machine just like that uh, that's not an issue with Linux itself that's an issue with the user it can be a social engineering issue it can be a phishing issue or now they, they have a new word, vision issue, you know, with, with video and stuff. So they get you to install malicious stuff on your computer. In this case, it comes from GitHub, i.e. Microsoft. So the issue here is really just Microsoft. 
and this is one of the lesser uh, propagandistic headlines because some of them will mention Linux in the headline and people will just think oh my god Linux is such a horrible operating system it's not secure and it, you know you can install malware on it if you really try yeah of course you can and the other thing that's that's been in the news the past few days um, it's this another recycled thing from last month or so or maybe several weeks ago I haven't been keeping track it's about Windows issues that may soon may soon maybe target Linux in another platform but this is a Windows issue and this isn't the first time I've, I've covered it in relation to ZDNet they talk about things that affect Windows that come from Windows uh, and probably you know Windows does have backdoors we know that because we know it thanks to Ed Swat uh, thanks to Edward Snowden we actually have proof of that concrete proof that they have backdoors and they're not patching things because they want the NSA to get access now in this case they once again they take a Windows issue and it only becomes news when they can put Linux somewhere in the headline and stigmatize Linux as a bad thing and look at that I mean even the images it's just unsavory they try to associate it with all these nasty things guess what side this is this is bleeping computer this is where Catalin Simpano came from and it's a really shitty site and for some reason Google News st still syndicated some sites there's a site called linuxsecurity.com which actually kind of pisses me off uh, a person could, a per person there, I don't want to mention the full name it keeps linking to these horrible sites and not doing any analysis which makes you wonder if first of all makes you wonder if linuxsecurity.com understands Linux uh, it makes you wonder if the person running the site, that I won't mention the person actually uses it and whether they actually like Linux because they spread a lot of this propaganda and give it a platform by linking to it and amplifying it and these are just two examples of the most recent uh, two strands of, of, of nonsense um, about GNU Linux and the average person who's not, a, who's not technical and especially managers at work many of whom are not technical they're hired for different reasons not because they're technical they see things like that and they think oh my god you know we need to buy antivirus software i.e. proprietary software that who knows where it sends data uh, on Linux because I read some article that says you know that some Windows malware may soon be coming to Linux okay whatever 